Hey, g'day everybody. Welcome back to the Atlas. And in my last stream on Monday night, I basically spent most of it building this ship. I hadn't quite got it finished, so I thought might as well do a quick video on the finished ship. Um, albeit there's a couple of little touches up that I want to do. But uh, it needs to be launched and it needs to be taken over to our main base and given some crew and all the rest of it. But before I launch it, uh, and I'll launch it during the video, uh, we'll have a look at what I've done. So in terms of its actual layout, it's pretty much the, the stock standard planks and gun ports. So every single gun port is filled. Uh, in terms of the colour scheme, it's Alazarin red, gold and black. Uh, and when I say all the gun ports, we'll have a look at the design I use for the gun ports. You can see here that I've gone for gold for wherever there is something that looks kind of metal-like, black for the background and red for the gun ports themselves. A uh, similar sort of a look and a feel for the sails themselves. The sails have a red trim to accent them, the ropes are gold and the pole is black. And then we have currently got the Scarvig design on the sail, but I'm hoping to get some of the other things like the ship shape uh, image as well as if anyone else had um, an image they wanted from the crew, whether they want to put it on there too. Six sails so we can have six different templates and make it look rather interesting. And then yeah, the trim all the way around the outside, again all gold. And then what I've done, and that's a little bit dark under here, we'll just gamma to three so we can see a bit better. Uh, the stairs all have black steps for Alizarin red on the railings, so the accent wood is all red. The planking and all that kind of stuff will be black, and any highlights, like the little metal uh, things that are on them. I'm not sure, it's not quite a fleur de lis, it's something else. A little bit of a swell there, but yeah, it's all done in gold. Similarly with things like the cannons, they've all been painted with gold and the, the alizar and red for the timber because it's an accent timber rather than the actual flooring and it's very much the same all the way through there. But I've left a lot of these rails, uh, or rather steps, without rails because I haven't quite decided whether I want to leave them open because when we're running around and having to repair this I don't want something interfering with the way that you run. Whereas the main cabin is probably where I spent most of the work and this took me quite a long time to paint this exactly how I wanted it. Uh, we decided to go for a two-story build inside here so that there was a nice bit of room for the crafting area as well as all the storage boxes that I have available uh, and I wanted to actually have the steering wheel down here I've ended up putting the bed there but the steering wheel had to be only one deck lower than the tallest deck for some reason and there's actually a limitation on the game uh, I will probably put a skin on this in the future once I actually get some skins or one of the other guys uh, presents a skin that we can actually put on there uh, but otherwise what I did with the stairway here you can actually see that there's actually handrails on all the stairs some handrails here for the little cannon area uh, and again, all the little accents have got uh, the red for the accent wood as well as gold for those little metal pieces. And then I made this part just stick out a little bit so that it looks like the sail actually is a part of it rather than down here where you can see it actually sticks into the wood rather heavily. So I wanted it to actually have a bit of a feature there. Then up the top we've got the lieutenant podium. Uh, at the moment I've just got that as red. Otherwise, yeah, that is the ship. It's coming across quite nicely. I still need to get uh, the figurehead and obviously uh, a skin for the steering wheel. And this should be fairly clean access to all the levels. Uh, over here is pretty close to the middle. The middle is actually here where the steps are. But I put the munition storage and um, ammunition container there. And I'm hoping it will reach the, the people when they're on the front. But otherwise we can move these at any time and reposition them. A larder so that hopefully it will reach the front people which I'll find out once I actually take the ship over and uh, put it into place. There's plenty of room for growth. Right, let's watch this thing sink on launch. Which would just be a travesty. Right, SSBF Agamemnon was the name we decided that we would give this one. It's done. Alright. And launched it without failure, which is even better. All right, well, we're going to take it over there so I can actually outfit it with crew and then we'll have a look at what it looks like while it's sailing.
Wow, there we go. Can I turn all that off? Oh, I can. Nice. It's a bit hard to see at a distance without. Uh... But it's looking pretty nice. Yeah, very good. Other than that, I mean, we're all set here. Maybe I can get a, uh, a nice K-mode shot from the front of the ship. Let's get... Otherwise, the uh, the ship is obviously ready. We've got our galleon that will be utilised in the Kraken fight. Uh, I have the materials for making just a pretty bog-standard common galleon as well, which I may do so that other people can just play around with one if they want to. Uh, but there are now three videos that we're probably going to look to do uh, before I finish off on the PvE series. There's going to be... Uh, I need to go on... Attack some mean whales. Apparently you get good sales from mean whales. Someone was telling me on my stream the other night. So I'm going to re-outfit the, uh, the Iron Bead Brig. And we're going to make that into a whaling ship. Or we'll possibly even get the Spear Maiden up and running and actually take that out as a whaling ship. And um, yeah, go and see what we can actually get from the drops. After that we will be doing Hydras. We'll possibly be doing them all of this consecutively. I'll just record it all as uh, it happens. But we're going to get some mean whales, see if we can get some good sails. We're going to uh, yeah, do a Hydra fight and show off the Power Stones and the Hydra. We possibly won't be doing much with the Dragon. We'll see. We might get around to doing some uh, death scenes of us being absolutely mauled by the Dragon. Uh, other than that, it will then be on to the Kraken and we'll do a video on the Kraken. Anyway, I'm going to get this back to base. Finally uh, kitted out with all the last uh, people. It looks like I missed one little bit of gold there on the side. There's a little bit of silver there. Possibly it's on the other side too. Yeah, there's a couple of accents there that I just need to touch up. That's looking pretty good otherwise. Alright, thanks for watching in. Hopefully you'll uh, catch me in the next couple of videos where I do all those things that I just said I was going to try and get done. Otherwise I will stream again on Monday night. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Catch you in the next one.